Hi, I'm Rhys Davis. Um, I'm uh, the president of eAsset Management Limited, and I'll be uh, one of your presenters at this year's Solutions 2.0 in Houston, Texas, uh, this August. So first of all, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm the president of eAsset Management Limited. Um, we have an office uh, in Houston itself, so we're really looking forward to coming back home and, uh, and presenting in Houston. Possibly most of you will know me uh, through my role as chairman of ISO TC251. Now this is the ISO committee that developed the ISO 55000 series of standards for asset management, uh, some of which I'm going to be uh, talking to you about uh, on the Thursday whilst we're in Houston. Uh, the other role that's relevant to uh, Solutions 2.0 is that I'm a board member of the Institute of Asset Management. So the Institute of Asset Management, the IAM, as, as it's often called, is is a UK-based organization which is rapidly expanding uh, its membership in various parts of the world and we're really looking forward to engaging with a, with a USA chapter over the next few months and, and getting that moving as well. I will be uh, presenting twice uh, at the event but I'm also most looking forward to meeting you all and experiencing the famous Texan hospitality. So what will I actually be doing? Well, for the first couple of days, I'll be uh, networking and listening to everybody else. I, uh, I, I don't believe in just turning up at conferences and speaking and leaving, so I'll be looking forward to listening to every, all of the other speakers and the other workshops. And I'm at the moment doing exactly what you guys are doing, which is going through the agenda uh, and picking out the... Uh, the events I particularly want to go to and it's all looking pretty exciting at the moment. But then by the time we get to Thursday I'll be uh, presenting one of the uh, rap talks on the Thursday morning. Um, that presentation I'll be talking about the global asset management standard that is ISO 55000 and how we developed it. I guess one of the things about international standards is they're all pretty boring. Uh, lots of people talk about them, you hear about them all over the place so what I really want to do is to try and get across to you guys what it's all about, uh, where and also how it's being used in different industries in different parts of the world. But more importantly, I want to try and get across to uh, the audience in Houston, why is it important to you? Uh, why is it important to you in a global marketplace? Why is it important to you in your organization? Why is it important to your managers? And why is it important to you in your role? within that organization. So quite a lot of ground to cover there, but I, I guess if we needed to sum that up in, in one short sentence, it's trying to make it real, understand why it's important, how it's being used, and why why is it going to make a big difference to your organization. The last thing I'll be doing at uh, Solutions 2.0 is on the Friday. Uh, on the Friday, I will be delivering one of the workshop sessions. I'll be delivering that in partnership with Graham Fogel, who's the chief executive of Gaussian Engineering. So e-asset management and Gaussian Engineering have a strategic partnership specifically designed to uh, service our clients in the Americas, both North and, and South America. Uh, but we also find ourselves work, working together in other parts of the world. So at the moment, we're working together on projects in in Asia and also in Scandinavia, which is all exciting and we're enjoying working with them. Graham and I are, uh, are fairly interested in our subject, I think would be to say the least. We both get pretty enthusiastic about it and we've been asked to put together a, a half day workshop on the asset management landscape and in that we want to try and bring some more of this to life, uh, kind of pick up on some of the key messages in ISO 55000 around investment uh, and delivering value which are right at the very heart of the discipline. Uh, I think one of the key messages we want to get across is, is, is why is it different to maintenance management, why is it different to reliability engineering, so we'll talk about things like is asset management and investment, uh, Graham's, Graham's going to pick up on that bullet point. I'm going to talk for for a big period in the workshop on aligning value with values. Fundamentally, asset management is about delivering value from your asset base, and I want to talk about how we can do that in reality by using a top-down, risk-based approach, uh, where we'll talk about what we mean by value, what your stakeholders mean by value, 
and also how we can use our organizational values uh, to help us make decisions about where we make investments. Um, the last part of this is that asset management is, is all about performance. How can we get that performance? How can we deliver that bottom up as well? So some of this highfalutin asset management stuff all comes across as very top down, very strategic. But in reality, you need both of those things. You need the top down strategic piece and you need the bottom up engineering piece that delivers real performance on the ground day in, day out. Uh, and by linking these two together, we get real value delivered today. But that top-down management system, I saw 55,000 stuff, helps us to make that sustainable over a long period of time and into the future. So hopefully that gives you a, a view of what I'm looking to cover. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm really excited about getting over to Houston. Uh, I'm really excited about the Solutions 2.0 event, and I'm looking forward to meeting you all. Uh, here's my final contact details. If you've got any questions before we get there, feel free to email me or, or call me on my US cell and you can track me down. Uh, leave a message at